Mesothelioma is an aggressive form of cancer that develops in the mesothelium, the thin membrane that lines many of the internal organs of the body. The mesothelium specifically forms a protective lining that covers and protects the heart, lungs, stomach, intestines and other organs in the abdomen and chest. Most cases of mesothelioma are caused by exposure to asbestos. Once diagnosed, the prognosis for mesothelioma is generally poor, as the disease is often diagnosed at advanced stages and the tumor can be difficult to treat effectively. However, researchers have been exploring new nanoparticle-based drug delivery approaches as a promising strategy to help improve treatment outcomes for mesothelioma patients. Nanoparticle-based drug delivery systems utilize nanoscale particles, usually ranging from 10 to 200 nanometers in size, to deliver anti-cancer drugs specifically to tumor sites in the body. Some key advantages of nanoparticles for drug delivery include their ability to encapsulate both hydrophobic and hydrophilic drug molecules, protect drugs from degradation until they reach the target site, penetrate through biological barriers more effectively than traditional drugs or drug formulations, and preferentially accumulate in tumor tissues through the enhanced permeability and retention effect. A number of different types of nanoparticles have been tested as drug delivery vehicles for mesothelioma, including liposomes, polymeric nanoparticles, metallic nanoparticles, micelles, dendrimers and others. Early phase clinical studies have shown some promise for nanoparticle formulations of anti-cancer drugs in the treatment of mesothelioma. For example, a phase I clinical trial tested pedulated liposomal doxorubicin doxal or KLX, for mesothelioma and found it achieved partial responses and stable disease in 28% of patients, suggesting it was well tolerated and had anti-tumor activity. Larger phase II studies of pedulated liposomal doxorubicin have reported response rates ranging from 14 to 33 percent in mesothelioma patients. Nanoparticle formulations of other chemotherapy agents like cisplatin and permetrex have also shown signs of anti-tumor efficacy in mesothelioma in early clinical research. Preclinical research indicates that nanoparticle drug delivery may help overcome some of the barriers that often limit the effectiveness of conventional chemotherapy in mesothelioma. For example, one challenge is that many chemotherapeutics have poor penetration and distribution within tumor sites due to unique features of mesothelioma tumors like dense desmoplastic stroma. However, studies have found that nanoparticle formulations of drugs like cisplatin, doxorubicin and paclitaxel exhibit enhanced penetration and intratumoral accumulation compared to free drug administration in mesothelioma xenograph models. Other challenges include the development of drug resistance and toxicity to healthy tissues from high drug doses needed for tumor response. Nanoparticle delivery approaches are being explored as a way to selectively deliver higher concentrations of drug payload directly to tumors while avoiding toxicity issues. For instance, one preclinical study developed doxorubicin loaded PEG PLA nanoparticles and found they were able to penetrate deep into mesothelium and tumor spheroids in vitro more effectively than free doxorubicin. The nanoparticle formulation also showed superior anti-tumor efficacy and ability to overcome drug resistance mechanisms in mesothelioma cell lines compared to free doxorubicin. In animal studies, PEG PLA nanoparticle formulations of cisplatin and doxorubicin achieved significantly higher intratumoral drug accumulation and more potent suppression of tumor growth compared to free drug in mesothelioma xenograft models. Other promising results in preclinical research of mesothelioma were seen with nanoparticle formulations of paclitaxel, rebavirin and various experimental agents. While more research is still needed, the initial clinical and preclinical studies reported to date suggest nanoparticle-based drug delivery may help improve outcomes for mesothelioma patients by overcoming some of the challenging barriers that often limit conventional chemotherapy effectiveness. Nanoparticles appear to enhance penetration and accumulation of anti-cancer payloads within dense mesothelioma tumor matrices. This concentrated intratumoral delivery may allow lower systemic drug doses while still achieving superior tumor growth inhibition compared to free drug administration.
Overall response rates from early phase clinical nanoparticle formulations have been largely equivalent or improved over historical standards of care as well. If these promising results can be validated in larger controlled clinical studies, nanoparticle drug delivery approaches may represent an important tool to help enhance chemotherapy treatment for the aggressive disease of mesothelioma. Of course, challenges still remain around reproducibly synthesizing nanoparticles, limiting toxicity and immune response, and achieving consistent results across patients. But continued research offers hope for gaining ground against this devastating cancer through improved drug targeting methods like nanoparticles. While mesothelioma remains a difficult to treat cancer, early clinical and preclinical research provides grounds for cautious optimism that nanoparticle based drug delivery systems may help enhance treatment outcomes by overcoming some of the biological barriers that often limit conventional chemotherapy effectiveness for this disease. Larger, Controlled clinical trials are still needed, but initial response rates are equivalent or improved over standards of care. Nanoparticles show potential to selectively deliver higher intratumoral drug payloads while reducing systemic toxicity, achieving superior tumor suppression at lower systemic doses in preclinical models of mesothelioma. If these promising findings translate, nanoparticle formulations may provide a clinically valuable tool for enhancing chemotherapy against this aggressive cancer moving forward. Further investigation is warranted to continue optimizing nanoparticle design and validating results across broader patient populations.